Hey, what's up you guys? Shiny here. So, um, sorry if my hair looks kind of weird. I just came out of the shower not too long ago. Anyways, today I'm going to be talking about something a bit more serious than what I usually do on my channel. I'm going to be talking about, um, something I want to do and I finally actually motivated myself to do. Um, pretty much I'm going to be talking about my future weight loss journey, which I'm probably going to be starting tomorrow. So, um... I, my, my goal is to kind of like maybe, like not help people, but be like a bit of a role model for others that have insecurities about themselves or anything. So pretty much I want to lose 100 pounds, which is roughly 43 kilos, I think, or 45 kilos. Yeah, 45 kilos. <laughs> And I can go up to about 110 pounds, but I do I don't want to go too much because I I'm fairly tall. I'm five foot six, so if I'm like 110 pounds, I'll look like a stick. So I don't want to look like a stick either. So pretty much. Um, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to start eating a bit he more healthy because obviously it was summer time and I was eating a whole bunch of junk from uh, going on vacation and going to parties and everything. So obviously parties, they don't have salads and all that. They obviously like have chips and all that and hot dogs. So um, and I also haven't had the best diet ever. Um, during my teenage years <laughs> um, so pretty much I've been overweight for the past I'd say five years five and a half years almost six because I'm almost 18 and I started uh, like growing and everything when I was about roughly 12 years old when I started high school um, by the way, I'm in Canada, so high school starts at grade 7, and it finishes at grade 11, so just if you're wondering. So, um, I used to be fairly, like, not skinny, but at least, like, not overweight, like, when I was, like, 10 or 11, um, but then, obviously, like, when you become a, teen a teenager, hormones and everything, and you get hungrier, and you lose weight, and uh, you you gain weight. <laughs> Whoa. And um, I went up 40 pounds in two months at some point. I don't remember how old I was. I think I was going to 13 or 14 years old. Um, but... Now it's to the point where I, it's like bothering me and I hate talking about this because I always feel judged and everything when I talk about this, um, but um, I'm just trying to make a video for people out there who are like me that are insecure and that want to do things that they can't do. So I'm going to be talking about why. I want to do this and at the near the end of the video I'm gonna show you guys how I look like now and I'll explain what I'll be doing in the future so sorry I think I like I'm starting a little cold or something and I have a bit of the sinus uh, sniffles here so uh, anyways <laughs> um, why I wanted to start this is because um, well I've been wanting to lose weight for a while because um, I don't know if I have an asthma issue, like, uh, I don't know if I've had asthma before being overweight, because I've been overweight for quite a while now, and, um, but of course weight doesn't help when you have asthma or anything, because it's just extra weight you're holding, and it's kind of hard to, like, do stuff sometimes, so, uh, 
I have like a ton of reasons why I want to lose a hundred pounds. Um, uh, but I'm going to start with, well, I'm going to tell them all. So this is going to be a long video. I'm sorry. <laughs> so first of all is I want to like, um, be able to like run and do things because I babysit a nine year old boy. And of course, like he likes sports like he does soccer he wants to do baseball he uh, he likes to play outside and everything but most of the things that he does I can't do because I could have an asthma attack right there and uh, I don't want him to go through that so a reason why I want to lose weight as well is to be able to like go out with friends and babysit that kid without saying like oh I can't do that I have bad asthma and I might have an asthma attack in front of you so that's one of the reasons to maybe like slow down my asthma a bit um, because I don't know if it's because of my weight that I have a bit of asthma um, but I, I'm probably I'm sure that probably is the case so the next reason is more embarrassing <laughs> because, um, yeah, so last year, or actually in 2015, that was two years ago, summer of 2015, I started, well, that was actually in October, I lied, it was actually in fall. I started taking birth control and it lasted October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, seven, roughly seven months. And um, pretty much it made me gain 70 pounds, which is, I think, close to like 30 kilos. I'm not up to that to doing calculations and all that so I'll just say it's roughly 30 kilos um, and that's a lot of weight in seven months um, yeah <laughs> let's just say that um, it made me a lot hungrier than usual so I gained 70 pounds because I took birth control and I stopped it because it was to the point where I I just didn't want to gain more weight because this year, actually last month, or at the beginning of this month actually, I went to Toronto to Canada's Wonderland and I couldn't fit in my favorite ride. My hips were too large and my thighs are too large. I couldn't fit in a lot of the rides and I cried I literally cried because it's embarrassing you know like you people are watching you like going into the ride and when it's to the point where you need to like either like squeeze yourself in or either get off the ride it's kind of like embarrassing for like all the people to see <laughs> and when I couldn't fit into my favorite ride I was like yeah I need to do something about this so up here I don't look that fat it's like here down that like it's getting bad <laughs> so um yeah I was talking about my motivation so my motivations is to yeah get rid of the asthma look a bit better be able to wear smaller clothes because wearing 18 size jeans it's I'm not up for that anymore um I want to be able to wear a bathing suit without feeling judged or looked at because as of now my bathing suit is a one piece with shorts and a t-shirt on top. So the bathing suit doesn't really do anything. <laughs> so my other motivations is that um yeah, that I can be able to go to amusement parks with my friends because one of my friends has been ask asking for months to go to the amusement park and I just found out that I can't fit in the rides anymore. So, uh, yeah, I want to be able to go to the rides with my friends. <laughs> and 
Also, I saw a video of this girl. I think... What's her name? I think her name is Jordan, if I remember. Jordan... Let me look. <laughs> because <clears throat> I'm going to be talking about her, so... Um... Jordan Shrinks. That's her YouTube channel. Um, she lost 130 pounds. Um, she lives like literally two hours away from me. Um, <clears throat> I emailed her before, <clears throat> but <clears throat> pretty much I'll be talking about a video that she posted and I'll post it down into the description below so you guys can go see it and hopefully I don't get copyrighted by her because I'm actually like sponsoring her <laughs> no not at all uh but pretty much like she lost 130 pounds and um she's posting videos about like um how she did it and everything and it's a weird motivation okay like this is a weird motivation for me um but she made a video of her like excess skin from the 130 pounds she lost and that motivated me <laughs> to lose weight why I don't know but usually people are scared to lose weight a lot of weight because of the extra skin that will do but to me it motivates me because I'll know that um, I lost the weight and that's just skin that can be easily removed um, so yes that motivated me so I'll put the link to her video in the description below so what was I gonna say oh yes so pretty much what I'm going to do to try to lose this weight so I talked about b before earlier in the video that I would um, eat different kinds of foods and um, I'm actually getting a treadmill tomorrow and I like anime that's actually a lie. I love anime. I'm obsessed with it. As you can see, all those papers on the wall there. Yeah, that's drawings of anime. So, pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk on the treadmill for as long as I can while watching anime. And instead of just sitting on my butt, I'll be doing something that could be helping me. And honestly, like, I don't even, like, walking outside, I don't like it because it's hot and, like, you don't really have much to do except listen to music, but inside on a treadmill, you can, like, uh, um, you can have, like, the air conditioning on, you can uh, watch TV, you can uh, do all sorts of things, so I don't mind walking all day on a treadmill if I can watch anime <laughs> at the same time. So, pretty much, I'll be, um yeah using a treadmill and everything and um, I'm gonna like walk on it every day and watch my anime and Netflix will finally be out of use at my father's <laughs> uh, not out of use will be in use because I haven't been on Netflix at my father's place for weeks <laughs> so it will finally be out of in use <laughs> and as well <clears throat> My father said that he's going to look into surgery, but that obviously isn't, like, something that, um, it obviously works, but I'm going to see if the treadmill and everything works out first, because I don't want to, like, put something inside me that, that, <sighs> pretty much, like, it's called, I don't know if it's this in English, but in uh, French translated to English is like a bariatric operation pretty much they put like a like a um, it's not an elastic it's like it's a shape of an elastic but I think it's like hard it's like metal or something I, I don't know what it is I haven't searched into it and everything but they close off part of your stomach so your stomach is actually only the size of a walnut so you can't really uh, consume a lot of food um, and on top of that you need to exercise anyway because so you don't just enlarge your stomach um, so pretty much um, if I do the operation my stomach is going to be the size of a walnut and I'll only be able to eat one apple <laughs> for 
the whole day. But no, um, I don't think I will do it, but my father's still going to look into it because for the operation you need to have a BMI of over 40. Uh, a BMI is the amount of fat on your body and pretty much my body is 40% fat. <laughs> Um, I don't know if that's the actual term, but that's what I was told about, like, the BMI. It's, um, you need to have a BMI of over 40, and I'm at 41.3, so there you go. But also, the operation is pretty expensive, so if it, it's not in the insurances, then I probably won't get it, because it's in the thousands of dollars, um, and I do not have money for that, so... I barely have money for a treadmill, a hundred dollar treadmill, so um, I don't think the one thousand dollar operation is uh, in my um, in my money situation. So I'll be going on the treadmill every day and eating different foods, and I'll see if that works. So pretty much, I'll be posting about this again in about six months or so to show you the difference so this is my least favorite part of the video I'm gonna obviously not like take my shirt off and everything but I'm gonna show you guys roughly how I look like because you've only seen the top half of my body uh, in in videos so uh, you don't really know how I look like but um pretty much I made I even wrote on my calendar on my phone uh, to make a video six months from now on how much I changed so pretty much I'm gonna tell you what I'm starting at and I'm actually starting tomorrow when I get my treadmill so uh, actually like tomorrow either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow um, because it looks like the treadmill is my only mo motivation right now and well yeah so I'm waiting for the treadmill <laughs> And so this is my least favorite part of the video. Let's do it. So, um, my starting weight right now, I do not like mentioning my weight. It, every time someone asks me for my weight, I'm like, no, not answering that. But to be a motivation to you guys, I'm going to tell you how much I weigh. So pretty much I weigh 255 pounds. And in kilos, that is, let me do a Google search because Google has everything. Um, okay, 255 pounds is 115 kilos, so that's a lot of weight, but because I'm tall, I don't look that fat. <laughs> I'm 5 foot 6, so my minimum weight is like 120, but I won't go up to down there up to down there yeah I won't go way down to there because I'll look like a stick literally so this is how I look like now so obviously like I have like arm fat and everything I hate this okay so this is how I look like so pretty much six months from now I'm gonna be making another video like this hopefully I'll be a bit more um what do you say? Um, less, um, have a bigger self esteem. Because my self esteem right now is lower than hell. Let's just say that. So, there you go. <laughs> this is pretty much what I'm going to be doing. And I'm obviously going to be posting more videos before six months from now. But my official official video of my weight loss again um, about like the the continuum of this the sequel of this video is going to be in six months I might do a few videos uh, until there on like um, different kind of like uh, if I get into like different kind of exercises and everything I doubt it because I'm not a motivated girl <laughs> for exercise and all that so I might be doing a few videos about weight in the next few months, but again, the sequel to this video will be in six months from now, so that means uh, 
February. September, October, November, December, January, February. Ah, yeah. So on February 22nd, you will get this video. I know this video is being posted on the 21st, but I'm starting tomorrow, so it will be posted on February 22nd of 2018. And I'll be showing you guys how much I've lost and everything. I'll even, like, put, like, um, my, um, what do you call that thing? Like, your measurements, I guess, of, um, I'll, I'll be putting my measurements on the, in the description of this video. And I'll even put my measurements on the video six months from now. So yeah, this concludes this very long video. I'm sorry it was really long. I just put a lot of information in this video. Um, and honestly, it's because I kind of want to be like, not a role model, but like, I want to be someone that people look up to and that get like the motivation to help themselves. Um, because I know how you feel if, if you have, like, a bad self-esteem. I completely know how you feel because I have a really bad self-esteem as well. So, um, if you have anything that you want to talk, um, to me about, um, I have Facebook, I have Twitter, I have Instagram, I have Snapchat. I have my email that I'll even put down in the description below and if you have any questions or anything you can also ask me a few questions on there as well and anything you need just come to me and um, if you want any like support I'm here for you I just scratch myself in the face <laughs> um, so yeah, if you want like support or anything, or if you kind of feel judged by people, just come talk to me. Uh, I'll uh, I'll answer you uh, like that. It might not be like that if I'm sleeping, but I'll for sure answer you, all of you guys. I promise. Um, and uh, well, that's pretty much it. So I'll be putting all my uh, links. In the description below I'll put Jordan's link to the video that she made in the description below I'll be putting my measurements as well um, so like even I can compare how much I've lost in the past in the next six months so yeah so I'll see you guys in the next video um, I'm really running out of video ideas so it might be in another few weeks from now and I'm dearly sorry because I literally have no ideas. I do have an idea, but it's kind of stupid and no one wants to like do it with me because it's pretty stupid. It's a weird 3 a.m. challenge. Um, so yeah, <laughs> no one wants to do it with me. So, and I do not want to do it alone just in case it is real. So uh, I'll try to find some more video video ideas and I'll try to include maybe my friend Chris, maybe my brother, um, because my friend Chris wanted to make a video with me, like a funny video, um, but yeah, so um, I'll be posting hopefully soon, I'll see you guys soon, stay lovely and handsome, I love you all so much, and um, come talk to me if you ever need anything, and this is literally a 25 minute video. So, <laughs> love you guys, stay lovely and handsome, uh, see you next time, bye.